Hey guys, disappointing news, so my video files are gone. I had about 15 minutes worth of footage and I had the video put together and I go to start the downloading process to save it to my phone because I do it on this app called Video Maker and uh, shout out to that app because I've been using it for about over a year now and uh, <clears throat> it's for to edit my videos and stuff and uh <clears throat> damn and but it's gone all gone i looked in my gallery none of my clips were there i looked in the files of my phone they weren't there so i don't know this is freaking lovely right i guess baps motor speedway got their wish because for some reason at the front gate when you go to pay to get in they discourage people from recording racing so i guess they got their wish in some way but uh yeah, this sucks. This flat out freaking sucks. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, I might as well, since I'm making this video, I might as well just talk about this so that way I at least I have something to talk about for you guys. But, okay, for one, the race was great, okay? There's no nobody I don't think that would debate that unless you're a drunken fool and had no idea what was even going on. But, <clears throat> And believe me, there's a lot of that. You'd be surprised. But the race was great. Um, I'll tell you what. Russ Minton, he set up Tony Jackson at the end of the race. And uh, he Tony was running the top. And I'd say about, with, I'd say 30 laps to go, I started noticing every, people started running the bottom more often. And it seemed like the top of the racetrack was going away. And I, I'm not sure if Tony any got any signals from anybody or not. But... I feel like if he'd have moved down, it, it, it would have <clears throat> definitely at least helped him a little bit to try to try to keep the lead. But but Russ was really fast getting off the, off of the turns, especially through turns three and four. He was really fast. But uh, yeah, it was a great race. <clears throat> and uh, shout out to Paul Miller for running that fifty eight car the way he did. Only that was only his second race he entered in this year, and my God, he was fast as hell. He looked great. Uh, my number one pick was Scott Dellinger, but he didn't. He was struggling a little bit. It seems like the setup on his car wasn't the way he wanted. He needed it to be. So, but he was. He was def, It was definitely fun to watch. I, I had a great time. Now, side note. I'd love to know why the hell this happens at a ra at race tracks and why it has to be in the dirt racing community. Because I've watched videos and I've learned enough to know that the, not just in dirt racing but racing in general, it has that you know, that redneck background, all, oh, you know, let's take our old Monte Carlo and put some holes in it and throw it out on the racetrack and see if we can win. <laughs> but, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know why some people, like, just have to be drunken assholes, like, there's people sitting behind me talking shit, like, saying shit about, saying racial stuff and then saying shit about my family, about my my mother being lesbian and stuff like that, like, it's just fucking rude, like, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, just shut the fuck up. Like, we're all here to have fun, and I'm here to, I'm there to have fun at the races. And I wasn't listening to them for like an hour, and I heard them say something about me not listening, and then I just shook my head like, oh no, I'm listening. I've been listening for like an hour now. And after that, they finally chilled out, so. It was just weird. People are just ignorant. I don't know why there has to be those certain people out there like that. People are just rude. <clears throat> like, if you can't accept that someone who's not straight and someone who's not white goes to a racetrack, um, then you got a problem with yourself, for real. You got a serious issue with yourself. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just had to talk about that, too, because I, I literally went on. It, people were sitting right behind, right behind me for like an hour or about 45 minutes, just saying weird off-the-wall shit. And half of it I couldn't even understand because how drunk they were. So, I don't know. People were just rude. Hopefully, uh, there isn't too many more people like that I have to deal with. Because I know some of the stories that my pap and, and my mom used to tell me about, you know, racism at the racetrack when, back in the 70s and 80s. And my pap had to put people in their place because of it. And I hope I don't ever have to resort to doing that. Because I know I know what to do. I got some tricks up my sleeve. You, you want to play smart, I'll catch you in the outhouse and I'll tip that bitch over on you or something. <laughs>
Because that's what my pap did. You mess around and you talk shit, you're going to get shitted on. <clears throat> so, but yeah, I just wanted to tell all you guys this stuff. I mean, I'm very upset that I don't have this footage for you guys. Um, it might be the best footage I'll probably get this year. Um, I don't know, it's just really disappointing. I wish I had a computer. It would make all this so much easier. Just sucks, but uh, I had to let you guys know, and I had to tell you guys a little about this little story I was dealing with. Oh, another thing too, shout out to Scrub, Rick Eckert. I got his t-shirt. Um, he just got a load of shirts in this week, so if you want to get one, hit, try to get one as soon as you can before he runs out. It seems like whenever I get a shirt from him, he always just gets them in. It's funny, so. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to him, and his shirt looks great. I love it. Probably one of the more cleaner, well not cleaner, but more graphical looking shirts he's had in a little while, and I love it, so, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'm sorry that, you know, I don't have any footage for you, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do in the meantime, um, there is a race coming up, uh, I already mentioned it a couple times, it's on October 8th, the Laser Late Model Clash. And I'm going to go to go to that race, and Scrub is going to be there, from what I know. And, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Jeez. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Enough of me rambling for seven minutes, I guess, now. So, I'll let y'all go, and, uh... I'll let y'all know in the next video what, I'm, what I plan on doing and stuff. Like I said, October 8th is a race I have planned... Um, the National Open, National Open at Williams Grove, if you've followed my channel for a long while, you'll know that that race has been on my channel every year for the last two or three years. So, uh, that's going to be another race I might hit. And, uh, yeah, between those races and stuff like that, I'll try to find some other stuff for me to do so that way I can get some content out for you guys. So, if you got any suggestions on things, on on how to make these videos better or what I can do, um, just let me know. I take any sort of criticism, negative or positive. I I could use any of it. I, I can learn from any of it in some way. You know, it's all a lesson to me. So, but thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep dirt in your beer. Peace.